We're here today to talk about a little known success story here in Wolverhampton. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. It's an amazing company you have here. Um, before we talk about the growth and the success here in the machine shop, tell me more about Varlo Industrial Services. Uh, yeah, we're kind of a one-stop shop for complete industrial services. Well, it took us 20 years. We've been running 20 years. It was our anniversary last year, 23. Uh, just rolling into the 24th year, isn't it? We, we offer pipe work, specialist pipe work, like high temperature, high pressure, class one welding, um, fabrication work, mechanical installs, electrical installs, and also now precision engineer work. It's brilliant. I'm not, I think you're underselling it a bit as well because you work with hospitals, what, theme parks. Uh, yeah, fantastic customer base, a lot of automotive companies, yeah, you say hospitals, sterilization side of everything, all over the UK. Um, Big fleet of vans, the skilled, skilled tradesmen kitted out. Why did you bring, bring, decide to bring machining into the whole portfolio? We needed to keep control. I see things from a commercial point of view, but we needed to control uh, the, the delivery dates, for instance, price points, and customer satisfaction, basically. Absolutely. Machining, what does that provide you? What kind of components are you making? Um, we'll, we're quite varied, really. We'll jigs and fixtures, build a prototype builds, design and build. Um, yeah, from a basic shaft, gears, jet, the general machining, but not batch work, more specialists. Yeah, absolutely, specialist machining. And I think the viewers will probably notice your machine shop is packed full of Hercos. Why? Uh, well, again, aesthetically they look lovely, but price point, reliable, fit for purpose, definitely. Uh, local, localish to us as well. Nice sales guy, Colin. Um, and the training, so that you call them out, the, the local, like any breakdowns or issues that they're here next day. Brilliant. And that's the commercial side of why you've got Hercos here. We're going to talk to Mike now to find out exactly technically why Hercos are so perfect for the kind of work that you're doing here at Volo Industrial Services. So Mike, uh, what kind of components are you making on the machine shop here? So predominantly small batch one-offs, um, they've got to be precise, uh, complex, um, so a wide variety really, mainly engineering steels, ferrous, non-ferrous materials, even plastic. And what kind of volumes are you making? Volumes tend to be majority one-offs or small batches up to 10, 20. Yeah, and what do you need out of a machine tool like this to achieve um, to achieve making those components? So this is one of our newest machines, the VMX 60i. Uh, it's the biggest machine that we've got. The reason we went for this machine, we found that the existing machines that we had didn't give us the capacity that we needed in terms of the bed size. We've gone for the same characteristics as we've done on the rest of the machines. We've got the tool carousel, the through uh, the through call and spindle. Uh, yeah, fantastic machine, giving us that extra capacity now to absolutely for those bigger parts. And what is it about the Hercos in general? You've got a huge machine shop like this. What is it about the Hercos in general that, that helps you to make the right, right components and the right lead times? So Hercos, great quality, small footprint, does what it says on the tin, gives us everything that we need to be able to do three and fourth axis milling and turning. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And why is it important um, to be able to program the parts on the control? So for us, we, we use a mixture really. We've got the CAD CAM, and we've also uh, got the operators and setters at the machines that can program on their, on their consoles. Um, it's very user-friendly, really easy. Uh, yeah, does what it says on the tin. Absolutely, and when it comes to those low batch sizes, that important to be able to turn around parts quickly when you're just programming on the control, running on the machine. Yeah, definitely, that does give us some, some uh, speed. Um, there's also room for error in, in that in that terms because we've got human error, whereas CAD CAM, you know, it takes out that human error in terms of toolpaths. However, saying that, on the dual screens that we've now got on our newest Herco machines, it allows us to see the toolpaths to you know, take out that error. So we can have both those screens running at the same time, whereas on the single screen, you can only have one or the other. Perfect. And when it comes to human error, yeah. um, obviously a machine tool is as good as the machine tool plus the person that's running it. Um, how do you know you can trust these machines to make good parts, not just today, but for the future? So the machines are regularly serviced by Herco. We've also got CMM inspection and all our components go through, through CMM inspection to ensure that we're hitting those tight tolerances that our customers demand. Uh, we also meet the draw spec. So the CMM proves the reliability of the machine, the tolerances that it's holding. And what does that mean for the rest of the business? So for the rest of the business, it proves reliability, we can send parts into the fabrication shop, you know, that we know are correct. 
There's nothing like sending parts into the fabrication shop, they've been wrong and have an effect on overall performance and efficiency. Hey Steve, if you to summarize um, what these circuit machines and what the machine capacity has done for the business, what would you say? Um, it's given us obviously a larger capacity, so sales have gone up, turnover has gone up, because there's control the margins more, um, which, so we could be able to reinvest in the, in the, in the people as well as um, machines and plant. So yeah, now we've got 10 Perco machines, we've got total control of all of our machining, deadlines and capacities and that. Um, we love the aesthetics of them, training facilities that are offered, fantastic, second to none I believe. And that's why we've got 10 of them.